Right now, hundreds of people are waking up in line at the Apple Store in downtown Portland. The iPhone 6 goes on sale today and with pre-orders showing a month wait time online. Camping out may be the fastest way to actually get your hands on one. Brent Weisberg is downtown as well, where the line continues to grow this morning. Good morning, Brent. Hey, good morning. We're actually starting to see the Apple Store employees come out and make sure that everyone is now in single file line. They have been told they have to stand up, get rid of their chairs and their sleeping bags. You can see here, you know, for the most part, things have been going pretty smoothly. As we walk down this line, you can see that everyone is now awake. They've been given some food. And in fact, if we turn the camera a little bit to the left, you can see some of those employees now starting to hand out water to the people who have been in here line. Some now in line for more than 32 hours. We'll swing the camera around in to show you the Apple Store and some of the folks here are actually unloading all the accessories and the phones themselves. The doors don't open until 8 o'clock this morning. As I mentioned, people have been here for more than 30 hours. One person told me that her family brought about four people down here, brothers, sisters, uh, even a cousin, so they would make sure that everyone was in line. For the most part, things have been going very smoothly. There were a couple of small issues. We talked with a man who is in line for more than 31 hours now. It's crazy watching all these people move around for a new phone, for yeah, the latest thing, just waiting in line around the block, like blocks and blocks and blocks. Well, store security here at the downtown Apple Store estimates there are about 1,000 people in line. The line itself looks like it has shrunk. Now that's just because everyone is standing up. Back here live in this picture, we can tell you Portland police have been out here. They did arrest one person around 3 o'clock. He, Portland police say, was drunk and was trying to start fights. Other than that, things have been going pretty smoothly. Apple Store employees say they did have to deal with a couple of uh, cheaters, some people trying to get in line, some cutters. So. We'll have to see what happens. Mike and Jenny, back to you. Those cutters can always cause problems. Okay, thanks, Brent, for that update.